Good morning. Today I wanted to do like a little solo date in the city sort of thing, you know? Thought I could go to the Tate Art Gallery because I believe there's two new exhibitions on and you know, I move out soon and I want to make the most of all the cultural arts etc while I'm here. It's 9am. I've been trying to figure out what to wear for ages and you know when it's just one of those days where just nothing looks good on you? Like my hair isn't cooperating so I don't know what to do about that. Mm. I don't know. It's just one of those days. <laughs> but I think I'm just gonna put my hair in a clip so it's out of the way. Sorry, I know that's boring. I'm not feeling very confident today, I won't lie. But yeah, while I am gonna have like a nice little date with myself today, I also wanted to still have my morning routine and like go to the cafe to do some work because I just think it means more to me getting stuff done and feeling proud of myself than having a whole day off. And I think I can only say that because I really love what I'm doing. I really feel passionate about it and I want to continue putting effort into it and stuff like that so yeah me and university would just love a whole day to myself but now it's kind of like I work freelance or I work for myself so I can take a day off anytime if I want to but it's more so that I don't feel like taking a day off because I'm not tired I'm not burnt out I feel very motivated still so that's where I'm at so yeah gonna go have my little iced latte decaf with soy milk and hazelnut syrup <laughs> it's like one of the most ridiculous orders ever to the point where it's not even like coffee anymore so if you're like a coffee connoisseur i'm so sorry for offending you with my fake coffee but <laughs> it makes me happy it brings a little joy to my day and it's meant to be very sunny later on the sun is out now but there's a few clouds but from 12 it's just gonna get hotter and hotter and it's gonna be 26 degrees this evening whereas it's only 17 now so beautiful day i thought after i go to the art gallery i could go on a little walk or something you know we'll just see where the day takes me but yeah it's a beautiful day and i just wanted to make this video to show like you can prioritize yourself you can spend time with yourself and treat yourself and love yourself and it's okay <laughs> We know that I'm a big introvert, but I have now been here alone for, I don't even know how long, maybe 10 days? I've got no idea, but I've seen some friends once, I went for sushi, but other than that, I've not really spoken to anyone. I've had therapy twice, I think, since being here. So other than my therapist and my two friends I went for food with, I've not spoken a single word to anyone other than my camera so i thought by now i'd be feeling like quite lonely or isolated but i think just because every day i make a point to go and sit in the cafe and i observe people and i see families together see couples together see people working like i am it makes me happy and i kind of feel like i'm part of something so i think that helps me to not feel so like alone while living alone so yeah plan is book my ticket now which is free I'll take my book with me, you know, just try and have a nice slow day where I appreciate things and do what I love and make a lot of time for me. Self-indulgent day. <laughs> I think growing up, my parents especially, like, if I was going to do something alone, they'd be like, are you going alone? Oh, why don't you go with someone? And it's kind of like, I sort of took that in a negative way and I was I thought like is it weird for me to be alone like eat in a restaurant alone go to the park alone go to the museum alone but most of the time I would rather be alone anyway 
so that's where I'm at now. I've kind of realised like, do what makes you happy, you know? It might be a bit interesting or confusing to other people, but it's nothing to be like ashamed about or to like avoid doing something, you know? And I'm not saying to be completely antisocial either, but you know, do what you need to be happy and don't worry about other people for the time being, just focus on you. Even if it's just like one day a month, you do something just for you, like that's good. Let's go. My outfit is very boring. My top is from Sculptor. My jeans are vintage men's Hugo Boss. clouds don't even look real they look pretend <laughs> i'm home i have been for a while it's 4 p.m now and i just needed to lie down because my whole plans kind of got turned upside down when i got to the cafe and i realized my laptop was on 19 percent and i didn't bring my charger so i'd planned to edit for about three hours and then after like 20 minutes my laptop was dead because when you're editing it drains the battery so fast so i read for a bit I walked around John Lewis. I got this beautiful green jumper, obviously because it's July and 25 degrees out and this was heavily discounted. And I was like, well, why not? Because, sorry, it keeps moving. If you know me, I like to be cozy and no matter the weather, I will have a lot of layers on because I just get cold and around here it's very windy. So a jumper for me in the summer, no problem. It was fine. So yeah, I got that. Then I went to the John Lewis cafe just because I wanted to read some more, but I didn't know where to go. So I bought just a drink just so I could sit there. I read some more of my book. I'm here now. Then I finally went to the Tate. I got this beautiful little glass necklace and I'll put the art of the woman that makes them on the screen. 
the exhibition in the Tate was really amazing. It was the biennial and I am actually planning to go to London, I think next month. So I would love to go to the Tate there because that would just be like so amazing. But yeah, it just kind of made me think a lot about the ways that artists can sort of express trauma or just, you know, their emotion through art and history as well. And I learned so much being there and I do want to, you know, learn more about the history of where I am. So it was definitely very worth visiting. It's free. If you're here, you should go. It's until mid-September, I believe. And just reading about the artists and about their work and why they made it and what it means, it was just so moving and made me realise like the depth of what I was seeing. So yes, I highly recommend. And then I was walking around, bought my little necklace, got some pasta, which I'm waiting patiently to eat and I don't know where the good angle is. I'd been walking around for about six hours and I had initially planned to finish off in the cafe, come back, drop my bag off and then go to the art gallery but just because of the way things worked out I didn't so then I was carrying my bag around all day and my back was aching so much so I had to take a little break and have a sit but I made it home. Immediately like washed my hands, took off my rings, you know, braided my hair, put on my nice comfy hoodie and I just got on bed and I just lay there. I was like oh my back! <laughs> Finally got up to make my pasta. And here we are. So it is a beautiful day. So warm and sunny. So many like tourists about families. It's quite heartwarming to see. It's 25 degrees right now wind is only 15 miles an hour so the wind has died down a lot. I think I just need a lot of water and some food because I've done a lot of moving so I think I'll rest a bit. I need to make a thumbnail for my video tomorrow. Maybe I'll play some Stardew Valley, maybe I'll read a bit and then I think once the sun has gone down a bit more I'm gonna go and sit in the park. Maybe. It might be really busy because it's the summer holidays and it's really nice weather but also it might not be busy because of the summer holidays because a lot of the students have already gone back to their hometowns so we'll see. I went the other day and I just lay in the sun and it was lovely so I thought I could take my book which is also very difficult to read. Like big trigger warning if you are thinking of reading this. I think it's worth reading and it's quite profound but it can be quite upsetting and things like this are hard because while this is fictional it's about things that did happen so today has just made me think a lot about history and things people have endured and how different my life is to theirs and it's really made me just like appreciate everything i have and you know appreciate this beautiful day i've had to myself so i'm gonna eat i'm gonna get in bed i'm gonna play some games i'm gonna maybe just relax and then we'll do something again This is my favourite ice cream.